I have a great guest today. She is a motivational speaker. She is a marathon runner and a marathon finisher. Big difference. Her name is Maria Solis Bella Zer. Yeah. Great. Maria. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me on. God bless. <laughs> Doing a marathon. <laughs> and you have your medal. Congratulations. I do. My finisher medal. Yes. Good for you. Thank you. And it's your second marathon, I understand. It is my second marathon. Last year didn't go as well as this year, really? but yeah, but I finished it. I somehow tried it against that the finish line, but I got it. Good for you. So, Good yeah. for you. Thank you. We met through Facebook. Yes. You, you, somehow you invited me to your big fundraiser event yeah. to we, celebrate yeah. the marathon yes. and uh, I read your bio and I said boy I gotta meet her oh, thank and here you. you are two weeks later thank you I know <laughs> <laughs> How sometimes people put us together I don't know life works huh thank That's, you so tell us a little bit about yourself um, well, first of all, when it comes to running, I just started running a couple years ago. Just it's, a couple years ago. Yeah. I, I mean, when I was a kid, my dream was to be a runner. Uh -huh. But, you know, I mean, when you go through life, parents divorce, you know, things happen. You gain weight, puberty hits you. So, you know, you, you kind of drop off of that. And I did run in high school. I joined the long distance team. Good for you. I had my first race. And as soon as the gun went off, I caught a cramp. Oh. And and all I can remember is my dad saying, don't come in last place, keep running. And I came, and not last place. I was like four steps ahead of the other girl, okay? Because there was no way I was gonna have my father scream, you know, don't come in last place and come in, okay? That, that far behind. But um, I never ran after that, mm -hmm. like track. I just decided to do other things, but that passion was always still inside of me mm -hmm. to, to run, mm -hmm. so. And yeah. to, to watch on television the marathon or, you know, volunteer for the marathon. And you see all these different people. One time I was there uh, volunteering and they had the spring runners and yeah. they had people pacing them. And, you know, there's 100 mile runners and incredible. I think incredible. this past week they did like an ultra marathon. So and it's a little bit harder than the, the New York City marathon, which is insane because I, I mean, even doing the marathon in itself is like ridiculously yeah. hard. So I can't even imagine. There was one guy I met who, who ran 10 miles a day. You know? Yeah, and he went to his chiropractor every week. You I'm know? sure, I'm sure. <laughs> it was like nothing for him. Nothing. It was yeah. really incredible. So, so then um, you got inspired to run the marathon, and so did you yeah. go on uh, a very strict training program after that? Did you switch um, your diet, or I, how did things went? When I first started running, I actually met somebody who was an ultra marathoner, but they would do like hundred mile races, like crazy. Incredible. Yeah. So, and they got me into joining New York Road Runners Club, mm -hmm. and I decided, you know, I'm gonna do this program this nine plus one, I'm gonna run the marathon. Cause you know, there was only like 10 races left. So he said, you gotta get in it now. So I ended up joining it. He didn't show up on the first race. No, didn't we talk about boys not showing <laughs> up? Boys just don't show up. So, you know, and it, of course I was sitting in my bed going, even the night before, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go. And then I finally decided if I don't go, I'm not gonna get into 2014's marathon. Right, cause you have to have a certain number of races under your belt, right? Exactly, before, to, mm -hmm. to, to get um, guaranteed entry into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So I just got up and I went by myself. Good for you. And then, you know, the following weeks later, Girl I called power. a girlfriend, mm -hmm. yeah, to come mm -hmm. along. And we joined teams and then it kind of just developed. It became like a love. And I have so many friends who've joined after, who I run with, my sister, who I've run countless races with. Mm -hmm. And it just became a passion. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't, I don't train, I'm not going to say I train as much as all the other people because I'm, I'm, a little lazy when it comes to training, but I do love it, and I love the races, and they're exciting. There's thousands of people there, so mm -hmm. you kind of get that after you mm -hmm. pass the finish line, you know, excitement. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun. I love it. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. And you're not exactly 25. You might be 35, but still, it not just even. shows that how important fitness is, and that yep. you can even run at, at any age. Any age. Yep. Yeah, I'm more of a walker just because I have, you know, some hip issues. And, um, but that doesn't mean you can't participate Absolutely. like in a marathon. Absolutely. We yeah. had, um, I actually had some of the girls who I've trained with over the years who didn't run the marathon. They walked the marathon mm -hmm. because there's, a, a, you know, enough time for them to actually walk it. And I've done races, California, Florida, New York. Good for you. And you see people of all ages. There's people in their 80s category who run faster than <laughs> me. And I'm thinking like two years ago when I had, when I was running a lot faster, these people are really fast because they've been, been doing it all their life. They're keeping their body moving. They're staying healthy and fit. And that's the most important thing. Absolutely. Keep moving. And it's a real challenge for anybody 50 plus. Absolutely. You know, for, so for people to be out there, you know, beyond those years yeah. running is really amazing. It and is. And it's probably the camaraderie, you know, keeps yes. them healthy as well. 
Exactly. Well, I mean, you know, they always say as, as you get older, you have to stay fit and keep your body moving. Mm -hmm. That's like the number one rule. You know, don't stay at home, sit in your bed. Even if it's just going for a walk somewhere, or just taking that extra step, you know, in a parking lot when you park your car. Right. Keep your body moving. Yes. Yeah. So I don't always run everything. Sometimes I walk in the races, but Good it's still you. something, you know, your Good body's you. moving. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. So, uh, did your diet change when you started running? Um, yes, it, it did. Because w especially when you're training for a marathon, you, you do want to eat healthier because you do feel a difference in your body mm -hmm. when you're not eating all the fats and the sugars and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You definitely feel a difference. And even prior to a race, it's so important, like for me, um, to eat something healthy because I know the days I don't eat, I'm very sluggish when I run a race. Mm -hmm. So my diet is very important, as are many runners. Their diet is extremely important before they run mm -hmm. or while they're training. We had a, a pro bodybuilder here recently and such a strict diet. I'm sure. Incredible. I'm sure. And even she was going through a detox when she was here and I'm like, you're going through a detox? Like, yeah. why? I, I can't do that. They yeah. they go on extreme they really dieting. Do. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of protein, a lot of yes. vitamins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water. I can't do any of that. God like bless that. them. Just no sugar, no salt is one of my no biggest coffee. rules. You know, oh, yeah. no sugar. What is it? No sugar. No sugar, no salt is like my biggest rule, and more okay. greens, more healthy. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes in a package for me, like mm -hmm. when I'm training, is no good. Or anything that that has names that I can't pronounce. That's a good rule of thumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. I usually just don't eat it because <laughs> if they use the same ingredients to put like plaster on walls. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be digesting right. it before a marathon, so <laughs> that's like a rule of thumb for me, yeah. Wow. Do they have the big pasta dinner before the night before? They um, used to, yes. the, but I didn't know. I yeah. haven't followed it. Enough. Every team is different. The uh -huh. Covenant House, we had ours a couple days before, mm -hmm. but I ended up going with another team also for the night before. And, you know, we piled on the pasta, and we had a little bit of protein also before that's the wonderful. race. So yeah. tell us a little bit about Covenant House, because aren't they a sponsor for you? Did, is that, did I understand that correctly? Um, not necessarily a sponsor. I actually ran on their team. They have a team called oh. the Home Team. So oh. they're one of the charity um, uh, groups that are a part of uh, the marathon. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of the team, the team that I, I joined, and they basically Basically, they help, uh, I guess you can say, they house uh, young adults, 17 to 22 years old, mm -hmm. um, runaways, throwaways, abandoned, mm -hmm. you know, um, young adults who've been abused sexually, physically, yeah, emotionally. And they take in, I think, up to 300 uh, teens a night, young adults Gee. a night. So, you know, I mean, it's what they do is amazing. They also have another facility in Manhattan that helps um, women who, are, who have babies. So it's an amazing organization. They're in Canada, throughout the U.S. They're, it's just amazing. And I, I felt very connected to them because of how I grew up, knowing that I also lived in a shelter at a young age. So for me, it was very important to be, you know, on a team with somebody who does, you know, that helps kids that are living in shelters mm -hmm. or somebody that deals with homelessness. And, and people need role models that, yeah. you know, you can, if you, you got, if you were born into a situation where, it was a lot challenging. It doesn't mean your whole life has to be that way. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's really great to have mentors and people to look up to that they know that yeah. once they get older that they can make their own lives. Yeah. I think everybody, no matter what age you are, needs somebody to look up to, mm -hmm. you know, because otherwise we're just going to stay exactly the same. You need somebody to inspire you, to encourage you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I lived in a shelter, I mean, just looking at the women who helped out, all the people who really gave so much to make these women that lived in the shelter kind of go to the next step in their life and do something better. You know, there was always somebody who was inspiring them or coaching them or helping them get through the hard times. Mm -hmm. So I think with the Covenant House, the women and the men that work there mm -hmm. who help guide these young adults and give them the education you know and the the platform that they need to kind of make a difference and move up in life mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing it Good really is you. yeah and this is the first year you ran with them on it as a team it remember? is it mm -hmm. is last year I just ran the marathon you know on basically on my mm -hmm. own yeah mm -hmm. but this year I decided I had to do something a little bit more and help raise awareness and raise money for something that really means a lot to me and that was the event at the Gansevoort Hotel correct yeah well mm -hmm. I mean everybody you know we all have have to raise our own money and try to raise more awareness however way we can mm -hmm. so what I did is I just hosted an event um, just gathered some friends and some Facebook friends 100 new people. people at least 100 more, 150 yeah, yeah. rooftop 
Yeah. And I was like, wow, this girl's got a lot of things going on. Yeah, we planned it in nine days. I Did you know. really? Yeah, I don't know how that how wow. we pulled it off, but thank you. You know, thankfully, I had great sponsors who had my back, and I had amazing um, people. I guess you could say all my team who mm -hmm. really helped and. It was you know, a we wonderful it event. Off. Yeah, it definitely was. Well, thanks for the invite. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> right, thank yeah. you. Thanks for this invite. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yeah, that's really great. Thank well, you. we have some photos that I'd like okay. the audience to see. There you are. You said that we're taken after the race. After. You look so fresh. I mean, but I was uh, struggling right there. I don't know if you probably could see it in my eyes. There's a little bit of a struggle. Um, I had to limp to sit on that rock. Oh. I had to limp to get to the rock. I almost had to get carried back out of the, the park. So I was in a little bit of pain. Yeah. Yeah. They. You don't look like you're in a little pain. You look like you're like a runner diva. Good for you. I think it's like an actress pose. I don't know. Look at that. Well, you have a lot to be proud of. Congratulations. Thank you. Very motivational, too. Because some you. people, you know, there you are. Is that in that? That's in the, in race? the race. That's yeah. actually the marathon's photo that they sent. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, Is while this I was in the, in the park? race. I'm not sure where this was taken. Okay. It might have even been in Brooklyn or Queens. I'm, okay. I'm not really too and you're sure. You're smiling. God bless. I, I was happy. Mm -hmm. As you know, I ran the race. I posted you know, a video or a photo of every mile. Because <laughs> for me, it was about showing everybody that it's exciting. It's mm -hmm. just not, it's not about pain and getting to the end. It's also about enjoying something mm -hmm. and you know, enjoying the moment, I guess you can say. A lot of crowds, you know, people on the sidelines. Oh, it's sure amazing. Mm -hmm. just, it's just Look lined up that. thousands and thousands of people. It's That's incredible. me crossing the finish line. God bless. And I was happy. It was exciting. One of my guests uh, performed um, some country music at the marathon. She loved doing it. Oh, great. And this is after the show as well? That's after right. And that's after mm -hmm. the marathon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's at the, at the end. Mm -hmm. They took the picture. So, And this is this a couple is days beautiful. later. Thank beautiful. you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And you also do, oh, let's see, look a closer view. Don't hey, look can at the I back. Try it on? <laughs> let's not look at the back and see my time, but. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank that's you. That's a great photographer, too. Yeah, we had a really great photographer, Leah. Leo, who did the photographs for us, and that's wearing the home team. So mm -hmm. that's uh, the Covenant Houses mm -hmm. um, t-shirt that we all had. Mm -hmm. So go home team. Yay. I was excited to run with them. And you're a model as well. Um, Look at this. I guess I just recently modeled for one company um, well, you when look I came like to New York. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. It's in Central Park. Beautiful. It was about. That's actually what actually got me to New York City, doing that photograph right there. I wasn't planning to stay in New York. I was only here for a vacation, but it was my in my mind that I had to stay to run the marathon. I still hadn't joined the team. Those pictures were taken about two months ago. Beautiful. And uh, like thank you. Love the clothes. Can I borrow them? Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, um, you know, we had a photo shoot, and I, I was supposed to leave on a plane the next day to go back to Florida, and mm -hmm. I wanted to stay so badly to run the marathon. Good for you. Things just happened. They just fell into place. So... Really stylish. Thank you. So Thank you've you. been here just for a couple months? I have. I mean, I've always lived back and forth. I, I have see. a place in Florida, so mm -hmm. that's like my home where I grew mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, coming to New York City, I like I said, I, it was in my mind to run the marathon. Good for you. So I only had a ticket to come here mm -hmm. and to go back home. I, mm -hmm. I, there was no plan to stay here. But things just worked out. You know, the following day that I got to New York, somebody asked me to do some modeling, and um, they helped put you know everything together I didn't I was like I don't live here <laughs> you know they had they asked me to do some work for them also so they kind of set it all up and it just fell into place well everything you have fell just a place. wonderful personality thank very you. magnetic and you did a, a wonderful presentation at your event oh thank you, know, you. so that was really good yeah and introduced a lot of people and there were some models and military pe yes. personnel there there was definitely we had some of our <laughs> some good friends of mine that are in the marines who mm -hmm. came out and i told them they have to wear their uniform <laughs> they have to i was like you can't come in like your regular like get up okay you got to wear like the whole shebang <laughs> so they came and of course everybody was like of looking course, they're all yeah. gawking at all of them so <laughs> they got they, in a lot of photos they definitely did yeah. and even we have a post video and they're like all in the videos i'm yeah. like you guys look amazing yeah. so i was happy to have them yeah so and yeah. salute to all of our veterans too absolutely you know, because a veteran Day this week, oh. and you have a twin sister. I understand that's in the military. Well, she just joined the Air Force Reserves. My twin. I'm not going to say my age because <laughs> she'll kill me. So, but if you look me up, you'll find my, our, our age. I'm I guess 33 say, forever, forever. So <laughs> she's 25 forever. Okay, we passed the 30 line, but she's 25 forever. 
<laughs> but um, she, you know, both of us always wanted to be in the military. You mm -hmm. know, we had an uncle who was in the Marines. And um, she, uh, you know, recently said, I'm just going to do it. And she went for it. And She I can just, do it. At, I thought you always had to be like 18 to 22 or something. Um, with the Air Force Reserves, I think you can be up to 39, if I'm oh, not mistaken, or 38. Or mm -hmm. um, So she's she's made it. She's God made bless. the cutoff. I yeah. couldn't make it through boot camp. No, I, no. I, Yeah, we see a pervert. Why? I have to run 10 miles and do push-ups? Yeah. <laughs> right. she, you know what? She has it in her. So uh -huh. she's always been the one who got me into running also. Oh, really? In Florida, we started doing the fun runs together. Uh -huh. So uh, my twin sister Kika is going to be in the Air Force yes. and reserves, and I'm really excited. Wow. So I just, yeah. you know, I'm going to miss her, though, while she's gone. She's going to be training in Texas um, uh -huh. until May. So uh -huh. I'm going to miss Dad that she'll be so far. So what yeah. else are you doing now here in New York now that it's post-marathon? Um, you know, we have a lot of stuff that we're doing as far as social magazine. We started doing some red carpet events for them. And we just, I'm dabbling in a lot of different things. That's very important to me. Also volunteering a lot. We're doing something for the holidays, which we hope will be on the news. So it's kind of a little Can hush you tell hush us? Right. Oh, Not yet. I but, won't tell anybody. <laughs> but but those, those pastries that you had oh, from near Viola. Oh, they wonderful. Yes. They'll be, they'll be out helping us also and giving some people some um, oh, sweet treats for, well, for the holidays. Yeah. So, so I'm planning to bring some in for uh, our group here. Okay, too. good. The, good. I, when I met you at the rooftop, I, I know I told you. <laughs> you I know right I told away, you. I go try some of it. It's like, no, 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 I don't eat sweets. And then I went over and then, oh my gosh, they look so delicious. They're and they amazing. even had a ginger cupcake, so I had to oh, try you that. Had to. <laughs> you just couldn't go wrong with that one. So, you know, it's so funny because I didn't the whole night. I was like, you know, suffocating in my dress. And I kept looking at them and everybody was eating them. And then my oh. girlfriend had in a to go container. Oh. And I said, can I have those two cupcakes? And I'm starving. And I ate them so quickly. Uh -huh. But they did an amazing job at the event. So, and they gave them, you know, to everybody as part of, you know, to help raise money. So it was beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Because they were mentioned at that event that if people signed up and contributed money, was it uh, uh, half of it go for your expenses and half for Covenant? No, I wasn't no, no. quite clear on that. That was the Darby Foundation. So mm -hmm. they were doing an event where they're helping raise money. Um, I, it's pretty much selling tickets for a Mercedes Benz. They were giving away a free Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. So they were actually donating anybody who bought the tickets, 50% mm -hmm. of the proceeds would go to the Covenant House. Wow. So, and I thought that was really great. Yeah. yeah, and we actually have an event with them tomorrow, so we'll be on the really? red carpet tomorrow night Good with Social you. Magazine. Good for so, you. yeah, Where definitely. Where is that event? It's in Long Island, uh -huh. in a land that I haven't really visited. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I'm so like, you know, I'm always in Manhattan. Me too. So anything right. outside of Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, where is that? What is <laughs> Right. It's Long Island. It's <laughs> just far away, but we'll get there. Yeah. So, I have a couple more questions about um, the marathon. You know, so it, it takes weeks to develop and, and run and train and things. What is it like for your recovery? I mean, you look Ooh. so fresh after after it for it's a two photo weeks. shoot. It's two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks, but. Um you know, I had a knee injury, which is why I decided not to run exactly the entire marathon and mm -hmm. why I posted at every mile. Okay. Because I had a, I injured myself in the last marathon, and I really had a hard time training, you know, the last year because I had a, a lot of severe pain in my knees. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I felt great during the marathon. As funny as it is, the pain went away. I don't know mm -hmm. what happened, if I kicked it back into place or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happened. But, you know, training obviously is, you know, it's difficult when you're trying to get ready for a marathon. You mm -hmm. know, prepping for it, it's never going to be easy. But, you know, overcoming it at the end of the, at the, end of the road, when you get the medal, it's mm -hmm. like it's all great. You know, you kind of you. forget about all the hard stuff that you went through to get there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's great. You know, I, like I said, I did have an injury. So I end up doing mostly jogging through the marathon, and I stop to do videos at every mile Good to kind of you. just help myself recover a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> on, on Facebook, someone um, had him in, uh, in a tub of ice I, cubes. <laughs> it, it was so funny to watch it. And he said everything hurt. I was like, oh, oh my God. God. I, I've seen people do that. I don't know how they do that. I put mm -hmm. ice on my knees. That uh -huh. was easy for me. Um, mm -hmm. And I iced my knees even prior to the marathon. Okay. But I pretty much stayed in bed mm -hmm. for a week. To rest, yeah. I, I stayed. I couldn't move my leg. Um, and, and, you know, we had to do the photo shoot also. Mm -hmm. So we had to walk through the park. You've been very busy. Yeah. I've been very busy. I've been limping a lot. I limped <laughs> for about a week. And, I, you know, when you 
you're limping and people are looking at you like you're like you know they give yeah. me that look like, like is she okay with heels on <laughs> you know like I got this so just, and then you miss your train you don't get across the street because you can't you quite run across yeah. Yeah. Right. so I took I, a taxi like everywhere okay. yeah. yeah I broke my foot a couple of years ago oh. and oh my goodness it took me 10 minutes to walk down the block I can't couldn't run, couldn't run across the street and I just had to learn if you know if I don't have a minute and a half to cross the street you're done <laughs> you're done but yeah I've totally went to 85 like that just that fast yeah. and I really really appreciate being able to walk, walk. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely you know I've after one week, I finally started feeling better. Um, I did injure myself a little bit two days before. You know, you're not supposed to well, run a race before the before the race. Oh, okay, because I, I was watching your postings, and I mentioned I yeah. saw that you mentioned about your knee that you hope that yeah. your knee would hold up. Well, I did. Kevin Hart had a Nike like Run with Hart event, <laughs> and I said I gotta go. And my friends are saying, but there's a you know there's like the marathon is in two days, and then they have the pre-marathon race, which is the dash to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I've done it already for a couple of years. I can't not do it. Mm -hmm. So I did two races before the race, and then. It's just never again. Yeah, isn't because I ended okay? up injuring myself in a different part of my leg. Oh, isn't that interesting? And the, where the pain was the entire race was where I, I injured myself oh, isn't prior. That something? So, yeah. So now, rule of thumb, don't overdo it two days before the race. Yeah, That's, you have yeah. to re uh, rest what you should really rest A lot of my friends much? did rest. They may have ran, you know, a few days, like five days before. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but the, the day before or two days before, they didn't. A lot of my friends did not run. Okay. You know, they did maybe stretches and stuff like that, but they didn't actually, like, do any races or long runs. Do you do uh, any yoga for your post-recovery or um, in general? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do, um, you know, because your body needs stretching, and uh -huh. I'm getting older. Obviously, I'm not 25, <laughs> only in my dreams. But um, you look it though. Oh, th thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Um, uh, I do, you know, do yoga, hot yoga, uh -huh. regular yoga. You know, I try to stretch. You know, I did go like a week before, and I did a yoga that was different. Uh -huh. And he had me in poses a little too long, and I, I felt like I injured myself in <laughs> yoga, which is not the point of being in yoga. So, but I do it. Your mm -hmm. body needs to stretch. Obviously. Obviously, mm -hmm. so. I'm really big into yoga, and yeah. I just started doing hot yin yoga and moto yoga. Studio. Sounds exciting. Yeah, <laughs> three to five minutes in a pose, and it was like, oh boy, Lord. But yeah. it's great for stretching, and people need to really keep, you know, moving. Got to. Got I think to. at any age, and the earlier you start. But I, you yeah. know, I was talking to somebody who had a great basketball career. And he just doesn't want to move any anymore. Wow. You know? Yeah, he just doesn't. He's had enough. And so much pain. Yeah, you know, and he's. I think he's going in for a double hip surgery. Wow. You know, so it's you know, it's a really fine line to. I don't know. I think as you get older, you've got like I said, you have to keep your body moving mm -hmm. because you're just you know creating you know more chances for yourself to have injury mm -hmm. you know one mm -hmm. slip and you break a hip and that's it you know yeah. you don't want to do that you got to keep yeah. that body stretched and moving at any age doesn't matter if you're 30 40 50 60 70 you just got to keep your body moving the one yoga teacher said that when you do yoga and fall <clears throat> your body automatically relaxes. Right. And I said, well, I'm not falling. That doesn't pertain to me. And I swear two days later, I fell and broke oh. my foot. But that's oh. what happened. I just collapsed. And, it had a, and most people would have just Ten frozen. Step, yeah. 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 And by doing yoga, you keep your muscles and, uh, and strengthened and your, your bones strong, too. Absolutely. So that I actually prevented a lot of uh, more serious injury just right. because I was a regular practitioner. Wow. Yeah. So I actually read, week, hmm? I read something about it that actually was talking about older people, you know, when it comes to stretching. You're adding years to your life by moving also. Because mm -hmm. when you don't, you're just going to take away five years, ten yeah. years. Yeah, so, you know, just think about it like that. You mm -hmm. want to extend your life a little bit more, keep mm -hmm. your body moving. So you know? what else is on the horizon for you? Any, and do you have, what kind of, I mean, do you have any goals after doing a marathon? Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't have goals? Who doesn't? A triathlon would be great. Oh, wow. yeah. I definitely, you know, you, you start off with your 5Ks, which is a uh -huh. three-mile race. Uh -huh. Then you get to the 10Ks, and you're doing like all different types of races. Mm -hmm. So what's next after a marathon? A triathlon, maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, I grew up in Florida. I've always been oh. a swimmer. So, you yeah. know, we bike everywhere. So, you know, I might as well just yeah. do something exciting. And I will be running, obviously, next year's marathon. Good for so, you. Good for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a swimmer, and I've gone down to oh, Fort okay. Lauderdale with the International Swimming Hall of Fame. I've trained yes, there. Really is. great. And I yeah. volunteered for um, some triathlons here and in the swimming division. Yeah. And poor souls, they're zigzagging all, all over. Around. They're, they're Kicked <laughs> in the face. And <laughs> Don't tell them I touched my feet on the ground. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, whatever. And, and then we also had... Um, some uh, military, some vets who were injured. They they were missing some limbs, yeah. and there they were. They were missing an arm or some accident victims. And they're still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're still swimming moving. with one arm or one leg. 
Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. I went to actually a Wounded Warrior double, double amputee um, event in Florida and they did softball. Wow. And they were amazing. They were so amazing. And they played a game against like 80 year olds who were just <laughs> as amazing. I'm like, these people are moving. They're moving like so much yeah. faster than 20 year olds. You yeah. know, I'm like they just got it in them. They've got the determination. I'm like, I love it. I love mm. to see people out there doing sports, moving their body. You know, I'm on Facebook. I always say girl gallivant. Yes. Always looking for the next adventure, looking uh -huh. for something fun to do. Because that's, right. that's what life's about. That's right? right. It's that's about right. enjoying what you have, you know, live for the moment, do something different even every day get up and try to do something different you know um, I was just going to ask do you have any words of advice but you you said it right there yeah. yes I mean that's you. the way mm -hmm. you gotta live your life you mm -hmm. know like I said I grew up with a with you know some adversity obviously oh, in life wow. went God through bless. a lot of stuff yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, my parents always reminded us to do something fun and exciting and live your life happy. Even through all the things that we went through, every week my parents would take us out and we'd miniature golf and go running, go boating, do something different. That's the way we always lived our life. Mm -hmm. And to this day, you know, my parents have a farm in Kentucky and um, we're out there doing fun stuff. We're hiking, we're, you Thank know, you. going rock, all these rock adventures. And mm -hmm. it's fun. That's the way you have to live your life. Good so, for you. Great absolutely. words of advice from Maria. Thank you. Thank you. My middle name's Marie, by the way. Oh, well, awesome. <laughs> French sounds French. Yeah. <laughs> right. I love well, it. Well, we're down to about the last minute oh, of the awesome. show, so it was really a lot of fun to Thank have you, you here. Oh. I just love talking with you. We're like girls in the makeup yeah. room beforehand. And talking and, about boys. <laughs> talking about boys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. And um, I really give you a lot of credit. Thank you. you know, for doing everything and inspiring people to, to get out there and Thank you. run and exercise. And Absolutely. Whatever. And I hope to see you like in Vogue magazine. One wow. day. One, one day. day. Yep. You got to speak it into existence, right? It will happen. Yeah. Good so. for you. So yeah, good luck you. with your event this weekend. And, thank you. Uh, I think that's really great, too. And uh, Maria, thank you so much. Thank you. Last Aww. 30 seconds of our, oh, our thank show. You. And, and I just oh, just anybody also, if they want to donate for the Covenant House, we are still raising money for them. And um, they can always go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash slash. Miss Gallivant, mm -hmm. and they could make a donation, or they can just follow along and see some adventures. You know, there's always fun stuff we're doing. Good so. for you. Yes. Well, I'm going to be following you. I follow you every day. Yeah, I watch. Thank I love you. you. Thank I love you. your posts. <laughs> thank you. I love your thank posts. Thank you. And uh, a big thanks to Josiane in the control room. Without her, we can't be here every week. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yay.